L'chaim, l'chaim. As we're standing a few days before Rosh Hashanah, let's have a mini Fabrengen and let's have a beautiful thought of how we can go into this year's Rosh Hashanah. L'chaim. Erev Rosh Hashanah is the Yom Huladis of the Tzamach Tzedek. In the Sicha of Toshin Nun Beis, the Rebbe said an unbelievable thing about the Tzamach Tzedek, that his Chassidus contains the Chassidus of the Rabbeim before him, the Alter Rebbe, the Mittler Rebbe, and all the Chassidus of the Rabbeim after him. It's an astonishing statement. And there is a beautiful Michtov, Klali, where the Rebbe discusses the greatness of the Tzamach Tzedek, of how he was a goin in Nigla, in Nister, an Asken Siburi, and he was Oisek in the Klal and also in the Prat. There's the famous Maisuk brought in the Maimabasi Lagani of how he did a Toiva Pratis for Ayid, and he had in his Galus of the Alter Rebbe. The Alter Rebbe revealed himself to him. The Rebbe goes on about the greatness of the Tzamach Tzedek, and then summarizes and says, Mi'id Meloi, who can compare to the Tzamach Tzedek? And yet, says the Rebbe, that why are we told all of this? Because we are like a drop of water opposite the sun. If the drop of water is facing the sun, and it's positioned properly, it can reflect the whole sun. And similarly, we can't compare ourselves to the Samach Tzedek, but yet, if we position ourselves properly as Chassidim, we should be able to reflect what the Samach Tzedek stood for and his Avodah. That's how we need to go into Rosh Hashanah. Tavshin Nun, the Rebbe spoke about Teishnas Nisim, and the Rebbe said that the way to go into Tavshin Nun is through a Hanhaga Nisis. And when we go in with a Hanhaga Nisis, that's how the Nisim will roll out in the year. So how should we go into Shnas Tavshin Pei Aleph? Well, first of all, Lama Zechvinshen, Aksiva Vachsima Teva, Lono Lachal Yisrael, everybody should have a Shana Teva Masuka, Agan Guti Ben Shior Lachaim. Shabbos Parshas Vayigash, Hey Tevis, Tavshin Nun Aleph, in Sefer Asichas, there's an unbelievable Ha'ora, where the Rebbe speaks there about saying to Hillim, not as it's divided according to the days of the week or the month, but in fact, taking the 150 Kapitalach of Tehillim and dividing it in tens. So you've got 15 parts to it. And the Rebbe makes reference to Kapitel Peites, which then was the Mizmar, which we were saying for the Rebbe. And that's starting in Pei Aleph. And in the Ha'ara, the Rebbe brings what is the idea of Pei Aleph, this is the idea of hafichas ha'af, taking af, which af means anger, and turning it around into pei aleph, which is polois arenu. I will show you wonders. And the Rebbe speaks of the af, the anger in Lu'umase, in klipa. And it's turning around, in specific reference to Paroi. Paroi is the Af of Klippa. And in fact, five times Af is mentioned in Peites. And it's Haficha in Pe Aleph. The idea is turning that around and revealing the Hamishis Le Paroi, revealing the highest level of Paroi in Kedusha, which is the Ispiriu Kol Nehir, in that all the lights above will be revealed. It's well worth reading the Ha'ara in its source there in the Sicha. In the bottom, in the Shuli Agilin, at the bottom of the Sicha, the Rebbe correlates Ploi Sarenu to the year Tavshin Nun Aleph, 
Teheshnas Nifloi Sarenu. What does this mean to us? As we go into Ploi Sarenu, we need to position ourselves, just like the Rebbe said in Tovshin Nun, that we go in with a Hanhoga Nisis, so too in Pei Aleph, we need to go in with Ploi Sarenu, with a Hanhoga of Pele. How do we do that? Chassidus explains, what is a Pele? In Israel, the, uh, the, 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 mo- the, the cell phone is called a Pele phone. It's a wondrous phone. Chassidus talks about Pele correlating to the sphere of Keser. And it says that Pele is the same letters as the word Aleph. And Aleph is the idea of Aalefcha Chochma, of teaching Chochma, Ulpana. The idea of the Ulpan, the Ulpana, the teaching of Chochma. And the idea of Pele is something which is higher, and yet it's separate from. But it can also be the idea of separate from and coming down into. So if you put those two ideas together, the idea is the transition from the Pele of Keser, of something which is up there and hidden in Keser, Arenu, and bringing it revealed in Chochmah. If you think about it, that is exactly what the revelation of Chassidus is. In Kuntris in Yonah of Teres Chassidus, the Rebbe explains that the Shoresh of Chassidus is the Keser HaMelech, Radlo, Reisha Dalei Yada, Attic of Keser, Pele, something which is wondrous. But Arenu is that it must be brought down in a way in which it's revealed in Chachma bin Avadas. That is exactly what Teiros Chabad is. It's taking the Evan Shabakasar Melech and grinding it up and feeding it to the intellect in a way that is understood by the average person, preparing the world, doing two things, of course. One, reviving us from our spiritual faint and our, us are being sunken in the world, but at the same time, and most importantly, and certainly as far as we're concerned, preparing the world for the coming of Mashiach, resensitizing the world to the Malchus of Shindal Yud. And so consequently, this is an extremely important way of how we need to go into this Rosh Hashanah. We need to position ourselves, like the Tzemach Sadek said, and like the Rebbe said about how do we emulate the Tzamach Sedek by having that little droplet opposite the sun, so too do we need to position ourselves before Rosh Hashanah in a way of Pele. How do we do that practically? First of all, when we say, wow, that's a Pele, that's like, it's astonishing. I think we need to astonish ourselves, first of all. How do we astonish ourselves? By doing something astonishing. By doing something perhaps that we haven't actually done until now. Especially in the area of Limad Achsidus. The Rebbe spoke many times about learning the Torah or Likute Torah of the Pasha Sashavua. And also, the Rebbe spoke about learning in Yoni Gula Mashiach, Likute Sichas of Nesi Dereinu. There are so many programs now. If we haven't jumped yet on the bandwagon, let ourselves do something paladic, taking on a new kvias, a new fixed time to learn ourselves, chsidus, sichas, mahmarim, etc., of Rabbi Seinu Nesienu. And then with others. To do something astonishing would mean, perhaps, just before Rosh Hashanah, to reach out to somebody who you would never think, perhaps, to learn chassidus with that person. But you know, this is ploy sarenu. This is the year when we can, we, we can and we will see wonders. Reaching out to that person and before Rosh Hashanah, making that connection and saying, would you like to learn 15, 20 minutes, whatever it is, a week, a thought, a hayom yom, something deeper, a maimah, a sicha, and you'll be, you will be astonished at the response. 
Hashem should help us all. That, because, as the Rebbe spoke many times, this year, Rosh Hashanah starts on Shabbos, and it should be a Shabbos thicker year, a year of Menucha, Menucha Sanefesh, a year of Menucha Saguf, we should go into this year in a tranquil way, in a knowledge that there's going to be Ployes Arenu. The biggest Pella we're asking for is the Hiskalas of Mashiach. That is the Pella that we're waiting for. But we know that we need to do our part. And the way to do our part is to position ourselves with a Pella. Let's do something astonishing, both for ourselves and with others. And with that Pella, go into this Rosh Hashanah. L'chaim, l'chaim livracha. Hashem should give us all, if we approach it with that ploy sarenu, then that will be the keli to bring the biggest pillar of the hiskalos of Malkeinu Meshecheinu, take her from Miyad Mamash. L'chaim, aksiva v'chasim and a good given, shtiar, ashana teva, umasok, l'chaim.